Hey guys, welcome back to another episode. We're gonna head out on the Broad River again and, you know, try to do some topwater stuff today. It's supposed to be the season where they're doing it. It's been a, like I said earlier in other videos, it's been a cooler spring than normal. So we'll see if they're reacting, they should be. Um, it's getting, you know, it's May 11th or no, no, June 11th, sorry. And so it's it's towards that time where they're starting to hit top water. But if they don't, we got the old trusty worm and I'm probably only bringing two rods this time. Just gonna keep it simple and, you know, either jig or use top water. So I'll see you guys out on the water. All right, guys, I've made it out on the river and it is like 5.30, so it's still dark. I just wanted to be out here first before anyone else does because it's Sunday. And I know there's gonna be a ton of people out on the river. But I'm gonna start fishing a little bit, probably not record yet, just cause as you can see, it's dark and you're not gonna really be able to see much. But if I catch something within the next you know, 20 minutes till the sun comes up, then I'll turn some, some lights on and try to show the fish off. But I'm gonna start out with some top water while it's nice and dark still, and probably keep using top water until I realize that they're not hitting it or something, but then we'll switch to the jig. But we're gonna get started here and I'm gonna paddle upstream and see what I can do. Oh, something's on it. There we go. First topwater fish of the day. Did he come off? Nope. He might have just came off there. No, he's not. not. It's right there. First topwater small leg of the day. Not too shabby. And quick release. <laughs> that works. All right, guys, first fish of the day. Not too terrible. Not too bad. About a one pounder. We're gonna see if we can catch some more over there. Sometimes there's more next to them. We'll see. That was another one after it. Come on. They're going after it. Oh, there's one. Two. Two fish so far. Let's go. Super aggressive this morning. There's another little smallie about the same size. Ooh, and he got every bit of the hooks there. I might have to actually get my pliers for this one. another little small mouth something's a little messed up with its tail but we're gonna let it go and there was another two or three to follow up too so I'm just gonna wear this hole out a little bit before I move up any further but that is so fun when they hit top water like that here we go again getting out there try to get it as far as possible There's something waking on it. It's another one. They're hungry. Got him. That's crazy. It's been like almost every cast. 
See, this might be a large mouth this time. Or maybe a small I'm not sure. I think it's a large mouth. Yeah, it is. Ooh. Hey, bud. I promise I'm letting you go. Yeah, a little large mouth in the mix. Three fish so far on the on the spook. Let him go. Hopefully we can catch some sizable ones too. Get back out there again. I'm just gonna wear this hole out until they're not really biting as much anymore. Something's after it again. Another one. That is crazy how good this hole is right now. Oh, and it's off. That's okay. Oh, I'm gonna see if that one will bite. Oh my gosh. Oh, he let go. That was cool. That was another bite. try over there again and see because that was a pretty decent bite right there that looked like it could have been a better fish you may have felt the hooks and not want to come after it again though try back over here Another one. Could be a nicer fish here. Two, three pounds or so. Probably two. <sighs> yeah, like a one and a half to two pound large mouth. Not too bad. Fourth fish of the day, I'd say, or something like that. Wow, it's a good morning. It's a good morning. Get the slime off my hands, restart the video. Get back over there again. That was cool though, that was like six or seven fish on top water right here at the first hole. All right, guys, I'm at the next spot that I like to fish. And we're going to see what happens over here. I'm going to try topwater first. Just see what happens. Very shallow today. Oh, that was a good one. Try that again. That was cool.
That was a good fish. Short struck it. Let's see if it goes after it again. If not, I'm gonna try to throw the worm up in there. There was something again. They want it, but they're missing it. Try this one or two more times and then if they don't actually get the hooks, then I'm gonna try the worm. There we go. No, he missed it again. How many times is this fish gonna miss? That is wild. Missed it so many times. Come on, get it this time. Might have to use the worm if they're gonna short strike it. Follow up. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That's a monster. Stay pinned, stay pinned. Stay pinned. That's a big one. That's a big one on the war on the That's probably my biggest fish on this. That's a good one. That's a good one. I'm dragging you up, buddy. I don't want you getting away. That is a big one. That is a mondo. That's my biggest fish on the river probably. Holy, or one of the biggest fish I've caught on the river. I don't know if this is my biggest, but this is a big fish, boys and girls. Wow. Definitely my biggest fish this year. That was bigger than the one striking it over there, but I'm going to uh, get a weight and measurement on this guy or this girl. And she is full too. She's like not thin either. So, very cool. Oh no. I think it's a little bit in her gills, so. Oh no. Okay, I got it out. That's a big one. She bled all over that. Get the, the bump board. That's a big fish. That is a Mondo. Mondo river fish. Oh man, she's bleeding. I need to get you some water so you can breathe. That's a good one. This is a real good fish. Get all that blood off the tail. We're gonna see how much, how long she goes. This is probably the longest one I've caught this year too. Right at 22 inches. Or, yeah, 22 inches. Pretty much 22 even. And now, so 22 inches. You better breathe that stream. That's a good one. That is a good one. All right, 
scale is zeroed out. We're gonna see how much this one weighs. Six thirteen or six one three. I don't know if you guys can see that, but six point one three. Not the biggest fish I've caught on the river, but one of the biggest. So I'm very pleased with that. I'm gonna get a a picture on my phone and then we'll we'll do the release. I need to clean up some of my gear. Alright guys, we're gonna let this big girl go. Just one more look for the camera. So I didn't really hold it up much, but she's a good one. And I'm gonna I'm gonna let her go. Do an underwater release. go down current maybe oh yeah she's going downstream oh I need to release her in the in the pool better that's crazy how she hit I hope I got that on film I kind of looked away for a second and that surprised the, the crap out of me but there she is swimming away Man, what a nice fish that was. That was cool. All right, guys, we're going to get back out there. Clean the, clean the kayak off and got the blood off my spook as much as I can. I don't know if a fish will care much, but I'm going to get back out there and see if some of these fish, there's some other fish out here that were short striking it. Oh, there's one. Man. They're coming after it, that's for sure. I just need them to get the actual lure. They keep short striking it. That big girl didn't miss it though. Get back out there again. It's that same fish that keeps missing it, it seems like. Man, that six pounder like startled me when it hit. I just heard it. I don't even know if I was looking at the, hopefully the camera got it, but I don't even know if I was looking in the direction that the fish was biting because I looked around, looked behind me for a moment. Just goes to show you, sometimes you just can't take your eyes off or you'll miss it. All right guys, I wasn't recording for the the cast or the hook set but got one on the worm and of course he stole it so here's another little little guy little large now really tiny smallest fish of the day so far See if there's any fish in these pools over here. Sometimes, sometimes not. You never know. Got something. It's a pretty good fish, whatever it is. Largey. Decent one on the worm. Nice three pound largemouth or two and a half maybe. Probably two and a half, maybe three. Not bad. He pulled. Get him back in there. Oop. Not bad. Huh. 
We're gonna see what happens. Right here. Oh my gosh, something, jeez. Uh oh, that was a small bass, but that was a bass. All right, guys, I'm, uh, I decided I'm gonna float down and get off the river now and make this my outro. Uh, had a pretty good day on the top water. That was, that was fun, that was a lot of fun. Big fish, six pounds. Uh, caught a few on the Texas rig, but you know, for some reason I wasn't hooking into them well, and I don't know if that was just because they weren't bass maybe, like they were gar or catfish, or they could have just been really small bass that were only, you know, grabbing the tip of the worm and not really grabbing the actual hook. So, yeah, that could have played a part into it. And I don't really know, but, you know, still had a pretty good day. It was like, I think it was like at least 10 fish or something like that. So that's a, that's a good day in my books for here, especially out this late in the, into the summer, spring. So, well, it's probably not spring anymore. It's like summer now. So it was pretty fun. Um, if you guys enjoyed this content, just make sure you give a thumbs up and go ahead and subscribe. I will be making more, um, probably later in J the later part of June. I'm going to start fishing the, the lake more from my boat and probably put out some videos of that. And once I find some patterns and I just haven't been out on the lake in a minute just because the river fishing's too good to, you know, pass up. So, uh, you guys stay tuned for the next one. And I'll see you then.